we want to give you a few fitness tips, some things that you can take home from this webinar. We're very, really, it's really, really excited about this. And one of the things we're going to talk to you about, of course, is how to assess your dog. And so we'll talk a little bit about the canine fitness assessment. Um, we're so excited about this. Now, there's a lot more to it. And when you get up, when you get signed in online, you'll see there is a lot more to it. But I want to give you some things that everyone can take home as a sort of a take home message. We want to assess our dog's muscle size and tone all of the time. Maybe you've actually, I'm sure you've petted your dog a lot, but have you ever really felt its muscles to see how large they are and how firm they are? We know that strong muscles are a big indicator of health and longevity, which all of us, of course, want. They help our active dogs to perform better, especially if you're in competition. We know that muscle strength is directly related to speed, so all of you guys that are involved in speed sports, go for it. But also, for those of you that are, that are dog breeders, we also know that fitness is important to improve whelping and to raise healthy and stable puppies, and don't all of you want that? Of course you do. So going on and looking at that, one thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that our dogs are always stacked the same way. This is how you would stack a dog for confirmation, and you can see here that the radius and ulna of the front legs are perpendicular to the ground. The metatarsals or the rear pasterns are perpendicular to the ground, and the head is held up and the muzzle pointing straight ahead. All of these Features need to be in play for you to be able to do that muscle assessment. Let's take a look at the muscles that you want to look at. There's six main big muscle groups here, and they're kind of color-coded. So you can see the shoulder is shown in green on the dog, etc. So we have the shoulder muscles. We have the core muscles, which are the paraspinals in red, the lateral abdominals in purple, and the ventral abdominals in orange. And then we have the rear leg muscles, which are the quads shown in blue and the hamstrings shown in light green. And what you want to do is just put your hands on these dogs' muscles and you want to see how big they are, but mostly how firm they are. And you want to make sure there's a balance between that. If, for example, your dog has great big shoulder muscles that feel like Arnold Schwarzenegger, but you go to feel their back leg muscles, in particular their hamstrings, and you feel them kind of sink in and they're wobbly like jelly, well, then you maybe should be worried about whether or not there's something going on in the rear. But certainly, you know, then you've got to target those rear leg muscles um, for strengthening. And so we see all kinds of imbalances, things like dogs that have a really strong paraspinal but not very strong uh, lateral and ventral abdominals. Actually, overall, we see dogs that have weak cores very, very commonly, just like we do in humans, actually. Um, and so what we want to do, ideally, is to be able to tone up all of these muscles, and that's what this program will take you through. Here's a great picture of a dog with really, really big muscles. Here you can see these bulges um, above the tail and to the right and left. Those are the glutes. Look at the size of that dog's gluteal muscles. Amazing. And then here you can see the big bulge of the biceps femoris muscles, which is part of the, um, part of the thigh muscles. And then look at this round area right here on the inside of the thigh. That's the gracilis muscle. So all of these muscles are really important to be toned up. And that's what we want to achieve with our dogs for health and longevity. 